Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at statistical modeling with R for actuarial students. This corresponds to the CS2B curriculum that actuarial students should be familiar with, risk modeling and survival analysis. The emphasis is placed on being able to apply statistical models to actuarial problems using real data sets and the open source software environment R. The syllabus comprises time series analysis, probability distributions, and survival analysis, including some other things as well. This is a time series analysis one in particular, and what we're going to do is look at the airline passengers, air passengers, I should say, data set. This is an inbuilt data set in the R environment, so if you're just typing in air passengers, it should come up immediately. So monthly totals of airline passengers are given in time series data set, air passengers. Plot the data as a time series with frequency equals 12. So just a bit of background on this is this is what you see if you type up the help file or ask for the help file, help airline passengers, air passengers I should say. And it's essentially a very straightforward data set for airlines. So just type air passengers in and you should get a data set like that. There I go, air passengers, that should be what you see when you type that in. Okay, so it's a time series data set. So the first question is, create this as a time series. So this data set converted into a time series format with frequency equals 12. Okay, so this is the command there, TS time series. And this converts what we had previously into a proper time series data set. I'm going to call this air passengers TS, airline passengers time series. And then I'm going to plot that. So just plot A, P, T, S. And that's what I get. That's the first question done there. Okay, that's the first plot. So time series. You can see the fluctuations there. Uh, you can see the trend going in uh, upward fashion and so on. So the second question is, oh, so that's not where we have it. The second question is plot the ACF function. Okay. Well, the autocorrelation function, ACF, just plot that. So the command is ACF, and the argument we provide is the name of the time series data set. So there we have it there. We don't have to interpret that. Essentially, what we have to do there is just show it. So that's simple as that, ACF uh, with the name of the time series. Okay. Decompose the trend, seasonality, and randomness for the data. Hint use decompose, okay, that use the decompose function. So we have the time series data set, okay, and what we're gonna do is decompose that and we're gonna sort of create an object called F to store this in, and then we are going to plot F. So this is what we observe. So this is actually breaking it up into multiple parts. So what we have previously is the top cell there, the time series, okay, and there we have the trend, the seasonal component, and the random component. So essentially it breaks it up into three parts. Well, the top cell up into three parts, the trend, the seasonal component, and the random component. Okay, so a decomposition of additive time series. Okay. So fit an ARIMA model, or ARIMA, hint, order equals C100, okay. List equals order C equals C210 period equals 12 as your parameters. Okay, so pretty much given to you in the plate this part here, just follow the instructions. Okay, now so the command is air passengers, not the APTS, air passengers, the raw data set, and the command there is ARIMA. This fits an ARIMA model. I pronounce it as ARIMA, but other people might say ARIMA. I'm not quite sure. Anyway. So we fit that, that's uh, as a model. Okay, so this is the model here, coefficients and so on. Okay. Class of that is an ARIMA model and that is the summary of the fit. Now it's sort of interesting to look at these things here just to sort of see how things work in the background, but it's not really a whole lot of use to us really. The plots are more interesting really. So, predict the data for the next 12 months. Uh, so what we're gonna do is forecast ahead. So I'm gonna call FORE, forecast. So I'm gonna use my ARIMA model, okay? 
fit. And N ahead equals 24. So next 24 months. Okay. And what we're going to do is predict. So that is our forecast there. And there we go. That's it. So we have our predictions. And we have the standard error. This is important uh, going forward. Find the upper and lower bound of fitted data and plot the same along with the predicted data with legends. Okay, so what we're going to do here is create an upper and lower bound. So essentially the forecast, the predicted value is the forecast plus the standard error. So essentially this is creating the upper bound of confidence interval and then the lower bound of another confidence of the, the same confidence interval. So that is the upper and lower limits there. So this got sort of combined in two. So the upper part is the first part and the lower part is the second part. I only used, used this line of code to sort of see how it looks, but it doesn't really help you that much. Oh, anyway, okay. So time series plot, air passengers. And what we're going to do there is put in the predicted values as well and the upper and lower bounds okay so there's four plot there's four trends to be put in here so the color one two four and four essentially you'll see that shortly and the line types one one two two so some will be proper lines some will be dotted so in the first case we have the actual data forecast and then the error bounds okay so let's see how that looks so the error bounds are there. So it's the in blue. So that's essentially a confidence interval. The, in red, we have the forecast. And here, black is what we see previously observed. OK. That's it. Straightforward enough, really. And yeah, we'll move on from that. So the key thing here really was just how to plot everything, which is the main way of doing this, I feel. It's just really get an intuition for, for time series analysis based on plots.